Hey guys and girls, um, yeah. Well, for once, a video not about my panda, uh, but just merely a cry for help, actually. <laughs> I've not done a video for a while, and I thought to myself, well, this is the only way I'm going to get help with it because I've been looking online and I just can't find any help on this whatsoever. Uh, the help that I have been getting, I've been following other, other people's videos on YouTube to install Windows on a 3 terabyte drive and well, yeah, <laughs> it's like really late at night and I'm quite tired, I've been trying to do this all day and I've had no luck whatsoever. I just cannot seem to install Windows on a 3 terabyte drive whatsoever. Um, it'll install, but I don't get the full 3 terabytes worth of drive space, which everyone, you may think, is because I've not got GPT converted on my drive. So, anyway, yeah. Finally upgraded my crap system. Uh, I've got a 3 terabyte Western Digital drive in there uh, from a friend. Uh, swapped my fish tank, which I don't have anymore, you'll see over there, look, no fish tank. And he swapped it for this computer unit, which is an AMD tri-core with the fourth core unlocked. Uh, sorry, locked. Because it doesn't run stable. But uh, I'll play with that when I can get the OS installed. So yeah, anyway, um, cut a long story short here. I'm trying to get my uh, Windows to uh, install on this 3 terabyte drive. I'm just trying to make partitions, literally. I'm just literally trying to make partitions. I can't even do that on this drive. Um, so yeah, here we go. I've got my disk partition. I'm going to clean the drive. E -A -N, which will clean the drive. I then type in uh, convert GPT. Press enter. Now note this. Successfully converted the selected disk to GPT format. Keep in mind I've only got one disk in the drive, there's no USB sticks installed, there's no card readers, and it doesn't pick up the CD drive as a hard drive, naturally. Because it's not a hard drive. In fact, I'll just uh, do this to show you. Uh, list disk enter. One disk which is selected GPT. Okay, so we'll exit this and exit this. Now you can see what's happening here. I do this, I try and do the drive, and I come up with this thing here. But anyway, I'll show you what it does. I'll refresh, th refresh this and happy days, we've got Give or take three terabytes worth of drive space there, which is what the drive is. 3.8, sorry, 2.8 terabytes, but it comes plus three. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I go to make a new partition. I want my partition to be um, 250 gigabytes. Sorry, I want my partition to be uh, 320 gigabytes for my main C drive, because that's just to install Windows, Windows 2 in a few programs. So, 320, oh no, not, wait, not 320, what is it in megabits? It's going to be 300, uh, three, sorry, 3, 2, 7, uh, so I've got this written down, 6, 8, 0, because I can't remember it. I'm not going to lie, I can't remember that. We could apply. Yep, yep, you can make a different partition if you wish Windows, that's fine. We do that. Oh, damn. And again, it does the same thing. So I've got my system reserved, which is what Windows makes. I've got my partition, the one that I made, 320 gigabytes. That's all well and good. I've got this, which should be the rest of the drive, but then this bit appears here. Why has that appeared there? Okay, I try and make a partition on that. New partition, apply, and I get this error message. And when you Google that error message, it tells me that the drive does not is not got GPT enabled. Yet I just converted my drive to GPT. So what we're actually going to do now is I'm going to go back into 
disk part. Shift and F10. D I S K P A R T. Enter. L I S T P I S K. List disk. Okay, what's cracking off here? Why is my drive not got GPT enabled when I just enabled it? Anybody out there can throw some light onto this because I'm literally pulling my hair out here trying to get this damn thing to work. It will be greatly appreciated because I'm pretty much looking for information and I'm finding nothing on it and I just can't figure out why it won't work. And I've tried, um, I've tried using uh, uh, what the hell's that thing called? Some nuking program which nukes your hard drive and converts everything to zeros and does all this, that and the other and I've tried that, it doesn't work, it just gives me this problem again. Um, you know, I give it a full format, converting the, um, what was it, something uh, something involving the stuff on the drive to all zeros, you know, strings of zeros. I've tried that, it doesn't work. Uh, then I found out you can just pretty much do exactly the same thing with this program that's built into it uh, just by typing in clean which, cl which supposedly cleans the drive um, obviously tried it again nope doesn't work tried to format the drive nope not gonna have it well, like I say anybody can throw some light onto this for me I'd be so greatly appreciated because uh, you know I'd so greatly appreciate it I'm literally pulling my hair out over this and I just cannot figure out how the hell to get the thing running. I've pretty much got a 3 terabyte drive that I can only use um, you know, a few terabytes of. Well, yeah, 2 terabytes worth of the 3 terabyte drive I can only use. It's pretty pointless having a 3 terabyte drive, I suppose. So either someone can help me figure out how to do this uh, or I'm just going to sell my drive on. Stick it on eBay and buy two. Um, what do you call it? One and a half gigabyte dr uh, terabyte drives, and we'll see if I can uh, get them to to uh, to work. Because uh, yeah, I'm getting quite annoyed with this. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys and girls, and uh, please do get back to me on this. Thank you very much.